Hey guys, coming at you from Long Island, New York with another winter sewing video. So it's been really cold here in the teens with the wind chill. Today is a high of like 25. We've still got remnants of snow outside from Thursday. Today's Saturday. It's basically like a frozen tundra out there. There's lots of frozen dog poop and everything else. So the ground is frozen, but this is a good time to take cuttings of hardwood plants. So right now I have a cutting of some elderberries. So I have, a, I guess like five or six elderberry bushes that I've purchased and they started growing really, really well this year. They're like the third or fourth year of them, but they're getting a little straggly. And so I know that a hard cutting will work out well. And also the branches I know that are growing like weirdly, like I cut to take cuttings. So this is free because I'm going to see if I can root my elderberry cuttings so i had i don't know four or five pretty long branches they were all about this long like about i don't know four feet three feet i'm not the engineer in the family so my measurements are loose so i i researched a bit and so basically all you do is you cut them to about six to eight inches and you keep a knot so you could see like the nodule where it's going to start to leaf out that is where the roots are going to supposed to sprout. So you want that to be underneath water. So I've got some mason jars here with some cuttings. And then I have this vase that I'm going to cut this one up to show you. And I'm going to put them under the grow lights downstairs and see what happens. I'm going to leave one up here to see what happens as an experiment and put the rest downstairs. So I also did some winter sowing of potatoes, sweet potatoes to get slips. And I did those in just mini greenhouses with some water. I'm going to put those downstairs with the grow lights. And then I did some gallon milk containers outside with some perennials that need cold stratification, which means they basically have to freeze before they'll germinate. So that would be elderberries. That would be milkweed. I'm going to try it with some perennial poppies, some verbascum, and a few other medicinals because I don't really have a lot of luck germinating them inside in the basement. So I'm going to see this year if I try to germinate them outside what happens. So I'm going to link to the videos I watched if you guys want to try that yourselves. In the meantime, I'm going to show you it's really easy. You're just going to take cuttings and put them in. That one probably has too much water for that container. I probably can just get away with just doing them in the two mason jars. I'm going to take a cutting here. See, I'm going under the nodule, cutting on the diagonal, sticking them in the water. Again, this one's going to be a little bit longer, cutting underneath the nodule. All right. So what I'm going to do with these is I don't, my husband will not let me keep more of them probably because they take up space and we're only on a quarter of an acre. So I have a friend who has a greenhouse. This one is going to leave long because I'll put it at the bottom again. I'm going to see if he'll root these up for me. These are not the right colors for this, but I didn't want to open the shed because it's so cold. I won't get the shed back closed. So I, whatever, I'm going to put this in the tall one. You understand what I'm doing though. So basically, I'm going to check back water levels and make sure that there's no mold growing in here. I'm going to make sure that stuff starts to root. And once it starts to root, I'm going to take it to my friend with the greenhouse. Shout out to Bill. And <laughs> have him root them up because he has greenhouses and I just have a basement with limited space. And I have to seed start all of my other seeds. So I'm hoping to start my loofahs because they need like 120 days to form sponges. So I'm going to start them as soon as I get them, hopefully get them this week. I had trouble sourcing those seeds, and I'm going to start some of my broccoli and cabbage. I don't know. I'm excited. My next video is going to show you the new seed box that I got because I was working out of a small shoe box size seed container, and it's exploding. So I sent out my husband today to uh, go get those photo boxes from Michael's because they were on sale, and I'm going to put them in there. So that's my next video. So stay tuned. Talk to you guys soon.